Landsat archives its 9 millionth scene. Each scene is a satellite image from space, about 115 miles wide. Researchers and, well, just about anyone can download scenes from the Landsat archive managed by USGS. Landsat holds the title for the longest continuous space-based record of Earth in existence. That's 50 years of scenes like these, helping scientists and researchers understand how our planet is changing over time. It will take Landsat 9 and its sister satellite, Landsat 8, eight days to image all of Earth's land and coastal areas. That means we get a complete picture of Earth every eight days. In this case, two satellites are better than one. Landsats 8 and 9 can work together to provide near real-time data about what's happening on the surface of our planet. Landsat collects images of each of our planet's seven continents. Farms, forests, waterways, glaciers, urban areas, Landsat sees it all. Remember, you can't manage what you can't measure, whether it's deforestation in the Amazon, or ice loss in Antarctica, or urban sprawl in Shanghai. Fire engine. Liftoff. Time, 1756. We have liftoff. Landsat 6 launched on October 5, 1993. Apogee kick motor should ignite right now and take Landsat to its final circular orbit. But it never made it to orbit. NASA's team of scientists and engineers got to work immediately to figure out what went wrong. Turns out it was a rupture in the rocket fuel chamber. They used failure as an opportunity to learn. Six years later, the team launched Landsat 7, Liftoff of the Delta II rocket with the advanced one of the most technologically advanced Earth-observing satellites of its generation, still in use today. At least one Landsat satellite has been orbiting Earth since 1972. That's nearly 50 years of steadfast observation. That first Landsat proved we could gather digitally encoded data from space and change the way we look at Earth forever. Never before seen snapshots of land resources and the environment would be key for critical decision making decades into the future. Landsat collects light. How intense that light is tells us about what's on the ground. You can think of intensity like shades of a different color. Landsat 9, the newest satellite to join the Landsat fleet, sees 16,384 shades. That's four times the depth of color of the previous Landsat, meaning we'll be able to see more detail in darker spots like coastal waters and dense forests. True color images are made by combining red, blue, and green light. Combined together, these visible bands of light make up all the colors in the rainbow, and all of Landsat's true color images. Landsat also captures light that we can't see. That type of light can reveal some incredible things when you look at a false color image, like the difference between types of plants, how healthy those plants are, healthy coral reefs, and even dead coral reefs, fire tracking, ocean pollution. The possibilities are nearly endless. There are two instruments aboard Landsat 9. OLI-2 is all about light. Once in orbit, OLI-2 collects sunlight reflected off Earth's surface. The light passes through a set of filters to separate out nine specific wavelength bands, invisible and infrared frequencies. Each band provides different pieces of information about what is down on the surface. The second instrument aboard Landsat 9, called TIRS-2, collects thermal infrared wavelengths or temperature signatures emitted by the Earth itself.
50 years ago, the U.S. Geological Survey had an idea. Satellites orbiting Earth that could help us monitor our natural resources. Today, the Landsat program is jointly managed by NASA and the USGS, providing an unparalleled record of Earth's changing landscapes for the benefit of all. 50 years of satellites, 50 years of life-changing data. One legacy continued with Landsat 9.